Hello once again, my name is Enoch Garcia. I am the founder of Honest Accounting Group, a QuickBooks consulting and bookkeeping firm. And today we're discussing how to generate an accounts receivable summary report. Please do not forget to subscribe for more QuickBooks training. And towards the end, I will have a few tips for better reporting. Let's get started. There are two ways to access this report. If we go to the top right hand corner in the search uh, box, if we type in accounts, it will give us two options, accounts receivable and accounts payable. The other option is just to go through reports. If you have it in your favorites, it will be up here. Otherwise, you can find it on who owes you for accounts receivable. Detail and summary. So we're going to do summary today. And this is what the accounts receivable aging summary looks like. This is basically a summary of who owes you money and is it due as of today? Is it, well, did you create the invoice today? These will be current. And if it's over one day old, that is um, supposed to be paid and hasn't, it'll be one through 30 days, 31 is 60 days, 61 and 90 days, and 91 days and over. This section is very, very important, and I'm going to explain why. If we choose, let's say, um, August 1st, and I hit Run Report, you'll see that some of the amounts change. And I'm going to open this one to show you why. The report we generated was as of August 1st. If you see the due date is August 2nd. I'm sorry, July 2nd. Okay, so technically this invoice would be 29 days old. So if I go back to the summary, it would be between 1 and 30, it would be 29 days. However, if I move it to the 2nd of August, you'll see that it moves to 31 is 60 days because now it is past due. Okay. Um, a couple of things to look at is also the days per aging period. We can do increments of 30. 1 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90. If I were to change it to 45, it would grow from 1 to 45, 46 to 90, 91 to 35, and so on. I'm going to leave it at 30. Number of periods, you can do however many you want. It will just continue incrementing in whatever number you have here, 1 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, and so on. Once again, I'm going to leave it at 4. That works the best. Okay. So this is a brief summary on how to generate and read the aging report. Now, a couple things. I always say this when um, I do these types of videos. You have to ensure that your books are reconciled. If they're not reconciled, you could have amounts here that have been paid but, you, but aren't um, in the books as paid. Um, or vice versa, if for some reason you accidentally paid an invoice that wasn't paid and so on. When you reconcile, you will find these issues. You will find these problems. Second thing, never let it go over 60 days. If you let it go over 60 days, an invoice that's due over 60 days is very hard to collect. And not only is it hard to collect, it affects your cash flow. You do the work, you get paid. You move on, you know how much money you have in the bank. But if you leave it in here and it's over 60 days, over 90 days, over 91 days, that means that you've spent money. You've spent money on overhead, cost of goods, whatever the type of business you're in, you've spent money and you still haven't received that money back. So those are my two tips. Reconcile your books before reading any report, including the HR the AR aging report and never let invoices or bills get to be paid over 60 days. My name is Enoch Garcia from Honest Accounting Group. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you know somebody that needs this video, please feel free to share. Once again, my name is Enoch Garcia from Honest Accounting Group. Thank you.